Hello, everybody. <laughs> My name is Kai. I have been building and learning this FPV thing for almost four months now. And today is the day that I'm upgrading to this. So if you don't know what this is, this is Crossfire. I really wanted to upgrade to this controller. This beautiful Black Tango 2 has Crossfire installed into it. So that's why I'm doing that today. I'll give you guys a little experience of what it's like to upgrade to this because I know it's a very popular choice. I want to get this tested out for tomorrow. My friends are going to help me tune my quad. I'm going to get it all sorted out and I need to make sure that this is ready to go so that I can actually fly tomorrow. So let's build. If you're trying to solder something tiny and you don't have anything to hold it with because you're using both hands to solder, it can be really, really hard to get the solder onto the item. And it really helps to have something to hold it. I know they sell these arm octopus looking things on FPV sites that are like $60 and pretty big. So I didn't want to get one of those. One thing I'm, I'm currently using is just this little clip metal thing. Honestly, anything that you can just kind of have clamp your small piece to and hold it so that it acts as a third hand. And you can go ahead and do your thing without having to worry about getting solder everywhere, you know, and including places you don't want it to be. So yeah, if you have one of these, then you can save yourself a little bit of money. This is Skyla. <laughs> My girlfriend helped me name her, but she's a five inch quad, which is usually what we like to start off with here. Um, this is the very first drone I've ever built. She's about to get an upgrade and I'm excited. <laughs> Look at this whole shebang and think to yourself, wow, I have no idea what's going on. It must take a genius to do something like this. And you're right, you gotta have attention to detail. You've got to have comprehension of letters and numbers even. And you have to remember everything to the little detail where, where I put the receiver. And you have to be able to Google search everything you don't know. And that, my friends, that takes skill. It's hard stuff. You gotta really, really know what you're doing. All right, let's see if this baby works. Yeah, it's blinking. That's good, I think. Awesome, let's just do the other one now. It's the next day. I stayed up till uh, I think about 4 a.m. trying to install Crossfire. And we're finally here. What up? I don't know if you guys recognize this boy right here. And those boys right there. They're the ones who got me into this whole thing. This whole mess. Making me spend thousands of dollars to have fun. <laughs> But yeah, uh, Ben here and Caesar and Adriel are gonna help me tune my quads. And yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of fun. So let's try it out. monkeys and get the drone okay this is my first time flying Skyla my five inch fly since we installed Crossfire and switched to the Tango it's been a while since I've actually flown out in a field the last time I was here I sucked and nothing's changed much in that aspect
I flew a whole pack without crashing. I'm happy. <laughs> Let's go.